Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. I'm going to record this right after the last video announcing my return. You can probably tell I'm in the same state. Same hair. Same shirt. Ha! Same shirt like I wear any other other shirts than a black plain t-shirt. Uh, what's this video on? Well, today, I let's get back into the swing of things of Wizard 101 videos, right? I'm going to teach you, yes you, dear viewer, how to spend copious amounts of crowns in Wizard 101. Now, what do I mean by this? Basically, what I mean, and I've probably done a video like this in the past, but I figured I'd do it again because it's pretty important, is what should you, as a person, spend your crowns on, specifically in the game Wizard 101, made by King's Isle Entertainment in 2007. Uh, I don't know if it was made in 2007. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, the reason, the main reason for this is the fact that King's Isle gave me quite a bit of crowns as recompense for my accounts. And I did stuff with those crowns. I'm, and now I'm going to tell you what you should do with your crowns if you have them. So, you, you just, you just woke up, get you rolled out of bed. You, you, you rub your eyes, you, you're all like, ugh, you stretch. You go upstairs to your mom and you, you say to your mom, Hey, can I use your credit card to buy crowns on Wizard 101? And she rolls her eyes, but nonetheless is like, sure. And then you spend 10 bucks, you get 5,000 crowns. What are you going to do? Well, as a kid, I would do just about anything with those crowns. I would probably throw them at like Dragon's Horde Packs trying to get... Who knows what? I don't even know what I was trying to get at, but I, you know, I was spending crowns, so that's pretty sick. Um, that's what I would do as a kid, and let me tell you, as a kid, that's not what you want to do. There's a lot of things you want to know to spend crowns on a Wizard 101, and this definitely, like, not all packs and stuff are created equal. You want to know what to spend your crowns on. So, let me give you some recommendations. First, if you don't have a mount, investing in a mount is a really good idea. Would I recommend you to spend crowns on it? No. You can buy it for gold, you can see here. But if you're too lazy to gold farm or it's too early in the game for you to acquire 90,000 gold, consider buying a mount. Also, if the mounts are on sale, as you can see here, you can see you can actually get some pretty cool mounts for pretty cheap. You can get um, these Seraph wings right here, which in my opinion are a really cool mount, for only 4,500 crowns, which is less than $10. And these are cheaper than actual, the cheapest mount usually is, which is something like, um, apparently this Fangle is pretty cheap uh, at 4,500. But I was thinking of the Pantera mount, which is what everyone got back in the day. At least it's what I got back in the day. Um, does is it still exist? There it is, the panther mount. That's what I was thinking. Look at that, the classic panther mount. Everyone knows the panther mount. I would recommend getting a mount at your earliest convenience. Now, do you need to spend crowns on this? No, but will crowns make it easier to get? Yes. If you have a, an amount of crowns, getting a mount might be a good idea. Now, you might have also come to this video, Noah, do I spend it on horde and lore packs? The answer may surprise you. The answer is maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that answer surprises you or not, but it surprised me. So it depends really on what you want, right? If you're a life or death wizard, do you want to spend some crowns on perhaps some Grizzleheim lore packs for rat spin as a life or celestial spell elemental packs as a death for ship of fools? Maybe, potentially, but know that you can farm those in game without crowns. Well, not ship of fools yet, but eventually ship of fools, you will be able to farm it. But, and this is FD, but if you have crowns, it makes it easier to buy stuff like this and spend and throw your money at the system to make your life easier. That's what I did. Overall, I spent probably $300. Well, okay, I spent $300 worth of crowns getting Ship of Fools on two characters. Technically, I only spent money for about maybe 100 and something of that. 150 I don't know. Something like that just is it costs a lot of crowns to get ship of fools if you're not lucky i am not a lucky person i never have been a lucky person so getting ship of fools took a while but if you're very lucky and you want to try your luck maybe buy some celestial spell mental packs but what about other stuff well i personally wouldn't recommend most of these packs unless there's a specific reason for it so for example the primeval horde pack 
as a max level fire, the wand is really, really good. It's the best fire wand in the game for a max level fire. So if you're a max level fire, you might want to consider getting primeval horde packs. If you are a storm or a fire, it's also a good idea to potentially get the mount as well because the mount stacked with the wand is actually a really good combo set and will net you an extra t eight damage maybe, which is actually a substantial amount at that high level. So this pack could be worth it. Um, Professor's Horde pack is also one I'd consider worth it. At what levels? I would consider 60 and 100 to be the two levels to buy this pack. The reason for that is, is that at level 60, it is better than the Waterworks boots and the Waterworks normally would last you to 100 anyway. So there's that. Or if you want to just want to wait till 100, these boots are really good at level 100. You can still use Malastare. And even at this point, Malastare is probably about equal due to the crit changes. But those are the packs I would recommend. All the other packs don't even want to focus on your radar when you're thinking about the way to spend your copious amounts of money. Um... Now, obviously, if you have that much money, you can just throw it at the game, whatever, buy whatever pack you want. But I'm telling, this is to the people who are using Mommy's credit card and only have a limited, limited amount of money to get, right? Now, people will ask, like, Noah, should I buy the Golster's Horde Pack, right? I've heard that the Golster's Horde Pack's really good. It drops mounts that give plus three damage. Yes, it does do that. But the caveat is, is that it is incredibly rare to get what you want. And what I mean by that is, is there is seven different mounts you can get. The chance of you getting the one that you want is extremely low because you need to factor into an account, uh, uh, take into account, say there's a 1% chance every pack to get a mount. Well, you have a seventh of a 1% chance of getting the mount you want, which is a very very slim odd and that's even considering that it's a one percent chance to get which i don't think it is what i would recommend is if you want a gulcher pack wait until it's the super gulcher pack which is a three times chance to get mounts then do it or b create a wizard of every single type and then it wouldn't matter anymore so i don't know whatever you'd prefer but really Honestly, those are all the things you'd want to spend crowns on, is packs or potentially a mount if you're early game. The other thing that I could consider being useful um, would be energy elixirs if you're training a pet. Potentially getting a backpack elixir if you want it. Hatching elixir if you're hatching a pet. Or, and this is a, this is a big or, um, you could consider investing in a hyper elixir. Now, this is something that not a lot of people will know. Uh, or consider because why would you want to get a hyper elixir well the reason why you might want to get this is if you're leveling a character and you plan on going all in leveling that character for 12 hours straight and by the way if you escape quit your timer pauses so for example i have a myth who has nine hours of hyper elixir and has had nine hours of hyper elixir for about a few years now Basically, you can make use of this, and especially at early levels, this is really good. And you can see why. The stats plus the bonus experience can really, really help at a low level. I'd say you can probably get from Wizard City to Dragon Spire in 12 hours, if not slightly higher than that, and you will be overleveled and overpowered for the majority of that with these stats. You'll be getting power pips left and right hitting all your shots if you're any school other than storm or fire or death or myth smooth i know i have a big brain but that's really it. okay Th that's all i would recommend in the crown shop and the reason why there's nothing I else i would recommend is because most of it just is not worth it there's certain stuff that people will tell you is good like the city staff is good yes 13% accuracy and 20% power pip on a wand, that's pretty lit. Um, would I recommend you to get that staff that gives you a pip at any level? No, because getting from level 1 to 30 is so easy 
that by the time you're at level 30, you're gonna have the Skyron Hasta. You won't need it anyway. It takes, I could probably get up from level one to 30 in about three hours right now if I wanted to, if I dedicated time to it, right before I have to go to my aunt's house to eat dinner, or sorry, lunch. I'm not very smart today, if you can't tell. That's gonna be it for this video. I really just wanted to get back into the swing of things. Make a Wizard 101 video. Wanted to go over some potential things you could use crowns on. Things you don't wanna use crowns on, and this is really important, is don't buy a mega snack pack unless it's on sale, and even then you don't wanna buy it if it's on sale. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to say is please buy Evil Magma Peas if you want to, um, because those will give you a free mega snack once a week. Um, so technically, if you think about it, that is half the price of a mega snack pack and you'll get your crowns worth from a mega snack pack in a few weeks. So, especially if you buy multiple, you know, could be a good thing to do. Um, but things not to buy, don't buy houses. That is a waste of crowns unless you really want the house. But most crowns you can buy, or most houses you can buy for gold anyway. So don't do that. Clothing bundles, not useless. The only reason you'd really want one of those is if you're too lazy to farm for the elegant hat. Um, gold, if you, if I ever hear you buying gold for crowns, I will personally come to your house and destroy your entire life. Uh, most pets for crowns, don't buy them. There's just no point. Just find someone with a pet and hatch with them. Rental mounts, if you buy a rental mount with, with crowns, I spit on you. Like, I legitimately spit in your face because you are stupid. All of these packs, no. Never buy them. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed, drop a like, hit the sub button. Man, it feels weird recording Wizard 101 again. Um, thank you all for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the rantings of a madman. That is about what I am right now. So, see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching. Man, does it feel strange recording Wizard 101 again. You can see it brings a smile to my face. Uh, uh, it warms my cold, dead heart ever so slightly more. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.